kisses in the morning light Wanna be next to you every night Oh, I shouldn't love you, but I might Cause your lips, they taste like cherry wine You're no good for me We're so bittersweet, but I still Good morning this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and today I am going to fix another soup. And I'm fixing these soups out of necessity because I really don't want the food that's in my refrigerator to go bad. So, I have two pounds of broccoli right here. I have carrots right here. I've got onions over there. I went to Sam's and got a whole big bag of onions. And so they, they're they getting bad on the bottom. So I'm trying to use those. The carrots are still good, but you know what? Uh, you gotta have some carrots and broccoli um, cheddar soup. So, and then like I said, I've got the broccoli here. So what I'm doing is I am, instead of grating my carrots, which I could have done or whatever, I'm using my little chopper thing because I've got onions and the carrots. And because this chopper is one of the little bitty ones and not the big one like Mandy in the making has, <clears throat> mine is little. So I am putting my carrots or whatever in here and I'm just mashing them. There you go. Wow, this is, see it's got these down in the bottom. And I'm going to be using my um, Ninja Foodie for this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to chop up these carrots and chop up the onions. I'm going to put a stick and a half of butter, only because I have a half a stick of butter that's in there that was in the door of my refrigerator that I used last week so I'm gonna use that half and you need the whole so I'm just putting a whole stick and a half a stick in there and in my ninja foodie on saute and I'm gonna saute these carrots and the onions and get them pretty well done before I put the broccoli in there and I've got to cut this broccoli up this stuff is stinking my house up it's still good but it start it had started going bad in my refrigerator Oh my God, I opened the refrigerator and oh, the smell is terrible. So I've got to cut this broccoli up, get it in there and get it out of my house. And I know that y'all know the smell of broccoli when it's getting ready to go bad. I mean, like I said, it's still good, but the smell is, oh my God, so bad. So anyway, I will bring y'all back when I get everything in cut up and in the Ninja Foodie. Okay, y'all, I'm back. All right, so I have got all the onions and the carrots cut up. It was three medium carrots. And this is one large onion because it was two, it was two large, no, two... Yeah, two medium onions, and I had to cut half of them off because they had started going bad. So it ended up being one whole big onion. <laughs> so this is a large onion and three carrots, three medium carrots that I cut up, chopped up in my chopper thing. And I'm just letting these um, saute now. I've got it on um, saute. And now you can do the same thing with your Instant Pot. I am using my Ninja Foodie just like you could do with your um, Instant Pot. So I'm not going to air fry in it. And pretty much the only difference, like I've told y'all over and over again, the only difference in the Ninja Foodie and the um, Instant Pot is you can air fry with this. You put this down... You can air fry with it. Um, with the Instant Pot, you can't. Your lid won't do that. But you can buy lids now for Instant Pots to make them air fry. But I really don't use that um, that much. And, and I want to show y'all, I mean, this is 
see I've got my ninja thing or whatever whatever it is right there the blender thing and then I had the ninja grill right there and then down on here is my instant pot which I don't use that anymore at all and then of course right there is my blender I don't use that I don't that blenders I don't think's ever been used and then I have my big air fryer right here and then my other one oven is right there and I probably won't use that very much anymore at all but I have so much stuff that I need to use and I don't use and I should um, use it and let y'all see in case you have the same things and you get scared to use it. This right here was my the worst thing. I was scared to death. It took me six or seven months to use this. I was so, um, I forgot the word now. <laughs> it just, it really scared me to use it. And so once I did, now pfft, I wonder how I could have been so scared of it because there's nothing to be scared of. It's just like your Instant Pot. Like I said, it's just, um, it's just that you can air fry with this and you can't with your Instant Pot. All right, but anyway, let me get off of here and I'm going to let these sear and saute until they are good and soft. And then I'm going to put my broccoli in here and we're going to, um, pressurize the broccoli for three minutes and then this stuff is this is going to be ready in no time at all so i'll bring y'all back okay y'all i have put all of the broccoli in here and it's the only thing that's in here is the broccoli and the carrots and the onions and that butter which is <laughs> pretty much evaporated or whatever with all this all right and i wanted to show you that i don't have I usually cut all of the stems off of my broccoli. I don't have those big stems on there. I don't like them, so I cut them off. And I'm, what I'm going to do right now is I've got one can of Swanson chicken broth. Then I'm going to put that in here. And it is just the, that's all it is, Swanson chicken broth. I'm going to put that in here, and we're going to pressure cook this for... Uh, I'm going to go three minutes, and since I'm sitting right here, I'll do an immediate. All right, so let me move you back there so you can see. All right, I put it, well, okay, there it is. I put it on ceiling, not venting. Ceiling is over here, venting is over there. And then I'm going to turn it off because it was on sear, saute. All right, I'm going to turn it back on. I'm going to go to pressure. And I'm going to come down to, well, three minutes and press start. And there it goes. And as soon as this gets done, I'm going to uh, immediately open, you know, to take it out from under pressure open it and we're going to go from there and this should be done in like 15 minutes after that is um after this cooks or whatever in here all right i'll bring you back okay y'all uh, while the broccoli is cooking all right it just started counting down now and so i've got half and half here I've got a half a gallon of half and half, and I've got 2% milk here, and then I made a slurry of, and I just poured some half and half in this bowl, and then I put about a fourth of a cup of um, cornstarch in here to make a slurry to thicken this um, up after I get everything in it, and I've got shredded mild cheddar cheese they i could not find any sharp so i had to get mild usually i would put like half mild and half sharp but they didn't have any so i had to get all mild and um so that's going to go in here 
but I'll bring you back. It's down to two minutes now, and then I'm going to let the pressure off of this, and I've got to go get a measuring cup because I'll have to measure how much half and half that I put in there and how much milk, and I will bring you back, and this is going to be done real soon. Okay, y'all. All right, the pin dropped, so I'm going to open this. And as I've told y'all, always make sure. Do you see that big puff of steam come out? Always make sure that you put it, open it away from you. All right, now let's see how that is. Oh, that looks, I that looks real good. Let me zoom y'all down there so you can see. By the time I get the cheese and the milk and all in there, it's going to be perfect. All right, so I've got two cups of 2% milk that I'm going to put in here and spill all over the place because that's just me. All right, turn this on. Put it on sear saute, push the button, and now it's on that. And let me get a paper towel and get off what I spilt. All right. All right, there is the two cups of 2% milk. Now I'm going to put in some of the cheese. I'm gonna do this in layers because I've got the half and a half and I have the 2%. And then, some, all right. All right, I've got it. Somebody moved my pair of scissors. So, all right, I'll bring y'all back. Okay, all right, now I'm going to put some cheese in it. I'm just going to do a big handful of cheese. Stir this up. Maybe I'm going to put a little bit more. All right. That was about a cup. I don't know how much cheese I'm going to put in here. Probably about two cups. All right, now let me get the two cups of half and half. All right. And here's the two cups of half and half. It's going in here. And it's still on, it's on sear saute in here. So all that, you know, putting the cold milk and all in here is going to make it cooler. That's why I've got it on sear saute. So it'll get, you know, get hot again. All right, now, this is probably, all right, I'm going to do one more handful, and then that's it. That's about, <laughs> this is about a pound of cheese in here, which this will last, you know, this will be for today, and I've got to check. I may be able to freeze some of this, which would be, good my kids are coming my grandkids are coming this weekend and stay with me i think i'm gonna fix them chicken and dumplings if they come over here i think they're coming saturday night kylie and camden i think they're gonna come saturday night and spend the night with me and if they do then um i'm gonna fix the chicken and dumplings but then i gotta get something else to fix too i gotta Get, I've got cereal. I'm just going to have to get some milk. 
and some junk food. You know you gotta have junk food for grandchildren. So, I'm gonna let this get hot. Well, I see the steam coming off of it. I may get, I may put some of that in here and put the, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And put the, I just got some of the soup out of there. I've got my bowl of cornstarch and half and half right here. I need to stir it up some. And then I'm going to put it in the soup and get that stirred up. And then hopefully we can make this thicker. All right. And I'm going to go on and put the rest of it in here now. Just because I don't want to waste it. <laughs> All right. Wow, they're going crazy today with those stupid calls that you get all the time. Makes me so mad. Here it comes. Mm. They just start hanging, I mean, calling right back now. All right, so there's the soup. I'm going to let it heat up and um, thicken up some, and I will bring y'all back when we get ready to eat some. Okay, y'all, <laughs> dummy me forgot to put salt in any of this, none of it, so I'm going to have to put, what is this, a teaspoon, I'm putting two heaping teaspoons of this in here, and I'm going to stir it up, it isn't any salt in it at all, I just tasted it to see, and I had forgotten totally about putting salt in here totally all right now I got to put my pepper and I always put um well since I've got this I've been using this peppercorn medley I love this stuff okay Stir this up now. All right, I'm going to let this sit. I'm going to turn it down to the temperature. I'm going to turn it down to medium low. And just let this sit here and get thicker. And I'll bring y'all back. Okay, y'all. All right. I'm finished with this. And what I did was I had a one of those um, long English things, rolls or whatever. And I tried to cut a hole in it and uh, so I could put the soup down in here. And I did get it. I mean, you know, I did get it out some. And I'll, I've never had one of the Panera bread in a bowl or whatever like this a bread bowl i know that they sell them at kroger oh my gosh okay <laughs> now i want some more of that i just took a knife and take took my fingers and cut it you know pulled some skin i said pull some skin pull some of the um bread out mm. Wow, y'all, that is really good. I'm glad I thought about this. Now I gotta fix it for Teresa so she can have it because I 
No, I think she'll like it too. She likes bread. Mmm. Well, y'all, that is good. That is really good. And I did the two um, teaspoons of salt, kosher salt that I put in there, ended up being perfect. Wow. All right, so the carrots are, are done. They're, um, you know, they're a little bit, they're not mushy, let's put it that way. Mmm. Wow. All right, if y'all have, <laughs> I, like I said, I didn't have one of those bowls, but I did have one of these um, French bread loaves in the freezer, and so I just got it out and let it sit out, and it was almost thawed out, and that's probably why I couldn't get the whole in here good. But now I can. And I can get on the sides. See the bread over here? And oh my gosh, y'all, this is just amazing. Mm. And yes, it's 80 some degrees outside today, but that's okay. It's not in here. And using my Ninja Foodie or your Instant Pot is not going to make your house hot either. So you could eat this too at your house. And this will be great for a single person or a couple. Well, I guess a family could eat this too. Um, if you could find, you know, if you got a couple of these French bread uh, loaves or whatever and can cut the hole open for <laughs> to get everybody something but this is just this is just good you know i've never had i've never had soup like this before in a bowl like this never oh wow all right y'all if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel look below for links to my facebook my twitter and to my instagram also, there's links below to different things that you can purchase at Amazon that you may want to use. And a lot of them I do use in my kitchen. And I do want to tell y'all that I love y'all so much. The notes and the messages and the comments that y'all have been sending me make, I mean, sometimes just make me cry because I have the I mean, I know everybody says this, but I do have amazing subscribers. So, I hope you have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Would you kiss this in